Hello, my name is Bianca Hoya, and today I talk about how stress influences our lives. I can't cope anymore. This is too much. I pay. This overwhelms me. Is this what you're feeling right now? Comments such as these are common every day or curiosities in our busy lives, and we call it stress. Although never quite adequately defined, stress um, vectorizations such as stress and tension are normal reactions to events that threaten us are used to describe it. However, the most common definition is uh, physical, mental, or emotional strain or tension. As the said, said, people are disturbed not by things, but by their perception of a thing, meaning that any definition we choose, every single one should introduce the main idea of stress, which tells us that all that causes stress sensation is our perception over a stressful factor. Threats that are considered stressful factor can come from some responsibility of school or work, problems with family or friends, um, personal or, uh, or social difficulties, and everything our mind or body perceives as something we do not have control of. Most common sources of stress are future of our nation, money, work, political planning, and violence or crime. Speaking of stress, something that I learned from my own experiences and uh, from those around me is that uh, our worries affect us physically, which is the mirror of the psyche. Stress targets the weakest part of your physiology or character. If you are prone to headaches or eczema, this will flare up. If you have low levels of patience or, or tolerance for others, this will be the first area to present under the signs of stress. Therefore, common effects of stress on your body are headache, muscle tension or pain, um, chest pain, fatigue, stomach upset, and uh, sleep problems. Also, I have had a period of my life when my mother thought that I, would, that I started having uh, health problems because I actually I was affected by stress, which takes control of your state of well-being and creates anxiety, restlessness, lack of, of motivation or purpose, the feeling of being overwhelmed, irritability or anger, and as an apogee, sadness leading to depression. Don't you said, it seems that stress has many effects on us. Most negative ones, but what is more important is to take into account less noticeable effects. For example, how stress influences decision making. Um, feeling of stress is something that changed the way people weigh risk and reward. In 2012, an article published in Current Directions in Psychological Science, a journal of association of psychological science, reveals how under stress, People pay more attention to the upside of a, of a possible outcome. It's a bit surprising, but researchers have found that when people are put under stress, they pay more attention to positive information and discounting negative information by testing them in conditional stress. Depending on this idea, a teenager who is deciding whether to attend a university and is, feel, uh, is feeling stressed by the decision might weigh the opportunities more heavily than the difficulty of being admitted. Also, Stress increases the differences between uh, how men and women think about risk. When men are stressed, they are even they become even more willing to take risks. In a position when women are uh, stressed, they uh, uh, get uh, more conservative about risk. But how should we reduce stress? The first tip to avoid risking your health through stress is to identify the sources of stress in your life to keep uh, the, the stress level under control. The second tip is practicing the, is the four A's of stress management, which consists in 1. Avoid unnecessary stress. Learn to say no and avoid people who stress you out. 2. Alter the situation. situation. If there is something or someone who is bothering you, try to be more assertive and communicate your concerns in an open and respectful way. 3. Adapt to the stressor. Reframe problems. Try to view a stressful situation from a more positive perspective and um, accept the things you can't change. Another tip to uh, using stress management is exercise. It's a great choice to have more than any physical activity, no matter which one. But it is a huge stress pressure with you. It's the fact that uh, connection with others uh, is a, a good way to um, manage stress. Spending quality time with uh, someone who understands you and makes you feel relaxed or even happy means a way that you will free yourself from all previous pressure. As the main point of what stress is and how it influences us, did you ever ask yourself how life would be without stress? Mm -hmm. I've heard many answers to this question. 
many people said that uh, life without stress is a dream or a child's play. Um, or others said that childhood itself is representative for such a life. Also, there were people who believed that such a life couldn't exist, analyzing the dynamics that are caused by stress. The unconscious motivation we receive when we are stressed by an exam or any situation where we have to cross the boundaries of our needs, we can admit that stress-free life would be pretty much more peaceful and happy, but more monotonous. Thus, we would not emphasize the power to overcome the difficult moments we are subjected to in our lives.